Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Sorry for the noise, my husband is building the doors to his um, saltwater aquarium. I will show that to y'all um, when he's done. I'll give y'all a tour of um, his aquarium, well, his and my son's aquarium that they built. Okay, so I just got through putting this shaking feed into into my containers that I have here. Not these because I just planted these okra and green beans up in here, um, but to the tomatoes here, here, then over here on the other side, I have cucumbers, cantaloupe, watermelon, sweet peppers, and corn i was about to say popcorn y'all so let me turn my tv down okay so i started not to record it but then i said maybe somebody want to see me feed these things so i already did a few of them right here where i've already put the shaking feed in and then i added some more soil to it because it needed more soil and so now I just have these two right here to do. And I'll show you. Let me put my glove back on. Well, yeah, I'll put my glove back on. Okay. So you can see the shake and feed pellets right here. I didn't do the bone meal because the shake and feed had bone meal, kelp, earthworm castings in it. So... You only need a little soil to go over it. Oh, what is that? Okay. And just maneuver it with your finger and cover it like that. Help it stand up some. This one's my little struggle one from when I transplanted them. The rest of them seem like they're gonna be okay though. And then I'll show you the next one. As you can see, it is growing. I repotted them on February 3rd, but they were planted on the 7th of January. So you can see it needs some more soil anyway. So I have my feeding right here, pellets. <clears throat> I'm going to take, uh oh, my husband will get me a little bit of this soil and put it here. I started to do it outside, but I didn't want to take them outside even though it's a nice day here in Columbia, South Carolina. So I'll just add some soil to that. Put a little bit more. You just don't want the real leaves, which these are the true leaves. You don't want that to be touching. And that's all it is to it, y'all. That is all it is to it. So I'm gonna angle you here because I'm about to do these. <clears throat> I really wish I had done this outside now. Maybe I need to use my hands to make less of a mess. And all I'm put all this is is seed starter mix and topsoil that I mix together. And I'm going to take this little leaf here, the original leaf. I'm taking it off. Y'all still haven't gotten around to taking this fingernail polish off. I cannot find my fingernail polish remover. And I'm like, so cheap, I don't want to buy anymore. They don't cost that much. I've been in the store I don't know how many times. And so you're just going to cover that up all around it. Tap it just lightly. Works better with your fingers. You don't break your plants. Because they are very, very sensitive. But these are all the true leaves that are on these tomato plants now. And if 
they keep doing what they're doing, I'm gonna end up having to repot them again, but into the actual container that they'll be in, which I didn't wanna do that. Add a little more to that one, because that one's... Because you know, uh, the tomatoes, they have the little prickly, look like fur on the stem, but those are really roots, so. This one back here and just go all around it and then tap it down. I think you can see what I'm doing. I hope so. There we go. Take that little leaf off without tearing up my plant. That way all the energy can go into the true leaves. I feel a little more comfortable with the gardening now than I did last year. Seeing how last year was my first year. I am still a little nervous about it. Cause you want everything to germinate, but, and you want everything to survive that does germinate. <clears throat> there we go. But, what you don't want, take that little leaf off, and it's, it just comes right off, y'all. This one needs a lot more soil, because it's growing a little better than the other ones, a little faster anyway. Hopefully I can grow some tomatoes, because if y'all haven't noticed, the prices of vegetables are really going up. These aren't tomatoes here. These are just a flower that I put in here. And I can't for the life of me remember what it was because I didn't mark it. And that's one of the things you need to do. <clears throat> okay. Now I gotta go on the upside. cucumbers before I start with the cucumbers I'm gonna take off any of the um any of these sorry about my hand in the camera there we go any of the leaves that are old I'm just going to gently pop those off so that all that energy will go somewhere else. Sometimes when your leaves are yellow, I've learned that it's not just because they you've watered them too much. It could be that they're just hungry and they need you to feed them. So, I have just fed them. Once I get done putting more soil, oh God, please don't break it. I almost broke that one, y'all. Be careful when you're pulling off um, your dead leaves like this. Yeah, be careful. So, even though these don't have the original, well, these are starting to get the... Um, main leaf on them that third leaf is starting to come out on some of my um sweet peppers i just went ahead on and put the shake and feed in it technically you should be waiting until you see your true leaves come out before doing that so hopefully i didn't harm anything by doing it little bit of soil and then we'll water when we're done
take those two yellow leaves off because those are not the those were the leaves that first popped out when they were small little germinating things so this one can go and i'm just pinching it if you don't feel comfortable doing it you can use scissors but i don't feel like looking for scissors right this minute there we go got new leaf popping out here here so and they've been going the tomatoes have been going through the water like i don't know what because um this is empty and i put water in all of these at the same time just so i can see which one is taking more water at what and how fast it's taking it and i thought it would be the cucumbers but turn out it's the doggone tomatoes over there and maybe they're just looking for nutrients so now they have the feed in there they should be okay leaves here I really I'm gonna give this some extra soil and I know I did these in January just to see if I could grow the cucumbers starting them out into in the house um, as if it was a greenhouse <laughs> and it's okay that I started a little soon or than I should have because my last frost here is supposed to be March 23rd but I don't know we'll see what mother nature and God says so I hope you enjoyed this video I'm trying to do more gardening videos. I do a lot of my stuff, but I don't record it. Um, I don't know. I guess I feel like if they don't get that many views, why record it? But you never know. You might be helping somebody, and somebody could be watching you that could help you if you're doing something wrong. So if you see me doing something wrong, feel free in a nice way <laughs> to gently nudge me the right direction. to be getting my um, pressure cooker next week but we'll see I hope he does I just want one even if I don't use it right now I do want one because I don't know if y'all some of those meats that people be pressure cooking and stuff I don't know if I want to eat those I mean I know I can eat like the chicken and stuff but like the beef, I don't know. But we'll see. Okay. And now I need to get up in this corner. Up and off in this corner. you can see what I'm doing. I'm just doing the same thing. I'm not going to make this a long video. And I'll tap it in there. These needed more soil anyway, even though they might not have needed the shaking feet because they don't have their true leaf on yet. But they did need soil because they are growing. I have this light in a regular, I mean, my grow light is in a regular lamp, so, but it's not bent directly over them, so I don't want them to become leggy. And I have to put water in this 
one because that one's empty. Let me do the corn. had a garden last year and maybe it would have been better had I done the things I needed to do like feeding it and adding the nutrients that I needed to add. I did do the um, Epsom salt and that helped a lot but I needed to do the other stuff so this time when I plan to make sure I have bone meal down up in the hole wherever I'm planting at. So now I'm just going to add um, they're all done. I'm just going to add water. And the water I'm using is actually rain water. I keep um, the rain water in containers outside. I just let it catch. I'm going to get me another one of these. This one's crazy. I might have to go back to my... Um, I might have to go back to my little water bottle, but these aren't little baby baby seedlings, so they should be able to handle a little bit of water from the top. Because you know, I, I will hit them from the back. This one over here with the tomatoes um, needed water. So I'm gonna try to pour it down in between. Just like that. Just enough to coat the bottom so they're not getting too much water. And the rest of them have water in them. Matter of fact, this one here might have too much water in over here. This one right there. So I'm gonna take some of that water out. But that's it, y'all. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm using my ring light to record on right now, but I also use it as a grow light. So if you have a ring light, don't have a grow light, go on and put it on there if you want to. It is not gonna hurt anything. It helped mine to grow. I mean, some things germinated within two days. Some things germinate within seven. Some things germinate within ten. It just all depends. So y'all take care. Have a very blessed day. Stay safe. Remember, I love you, but God loves you more. And if you sow something, you will grow something.